to commemorate the 1,350th anniversary of the repose of St. Maximus the Confessor, the Department of Patristic Studies of the Faculty of Orthodox Theology of the University of Belgrade in Serbia, in collaboration with the Orthodox Christian Studies Program of Fordham University, the Chair of Orthodox Theology of Munster University and Pontifical Lateran University, is pleased to present an international symposium on St. Maximus the Confessor in Belgrade, October 18th through the 21st, 2012. The title of the conference, Knowing the Purpose of Everything Through the Power of the Resurrection, is based on St. Maximus's words in his Centuries on Theology and Economy. Quote, The mystery of the incarnation of the Logos is the key to all arcane symbolism and typology in the scriptures, and in addition gives us knowledge of created things, both visible and intelligible. He who apprehends the mystery of the cross and the burial apprehends the inward essences of created things, while he who is initiated into the inexpressible power of the resurrection apprehends the purpose for which God first established everything. End quote. It has often been observed that St. Maximus preferred to leave sketches of his thought, opuscula, chapters, scolia, rather than a thoroughly condensed system. His exegesis proves to be tremendously critical and fruitful today, as he invites us to discover spiritual benefits in the most obscure corners of Scripture and all reality. Integrating theory and practice, he has been called a cosmic theologian, offering a vision of the cosmic liturgy, inspiring a cosmological prophecy, and Eucharistic cosmology. The goal of the symposium is to highlight those elements and aspects of St. Maximus's teaching that are relevant for our time. The symposium seeks to consider and address critical questions pertaining especially to the realms of theology, philosophy, psychology, science, and hermeneutics, amongst others. Scholars are invited to offer carefully worked out insights and elucidations that bridge the gap between antiquity and modernity and show how Maximus's symphony of experience relates to the pressing issues of our times, traversing through the challenging terrain of this theology, and to gather diverse fruits produced by this giant among early Byzantine theologians, who stands at the summit of the Greek patristic tradition. Many areas or conditions of contemporary life can be fruitfully explored by engaging with the theology of St. Maximus the Confessor. These areas will form the foci of the conference, theology and anthropology, exegesis and hermeneutics, modern and ancient philosophy, spirituality and science, history and eschatology, human nature and freedom, otherness and gender, faith and reason, person and communion, psychology and biology, cosmology and physics, pedagogy and sociology, sacraments and liturgy, asceticism and virtue, as well as others. In an effort to facilitate a wide-ranging interdisciplinary conversation, the conference encourages scholars working in any discipline, theology, history, philosophy, art history, religious studies, classical studies, to submit abstracts for papers. The organizers are particularly interested in papers that bring to light new evidence, new readings of texts, or new interpretive paradigms by which the relation between Christianity and antiquity and in the 21st century can be profitably explored. Following other recent seminars on St. Maximus, the conference focuses on Maximus's increasingly noticeable role as a saint for East and West, and on the mediating potential of his profound theological vision for Eastern and Western Christianity. In an age of plurality and division, it is particularly important to know what our tradition, shaped by the Fathers, can teach us. In any such endeavor, St. Maximus the Confessor stands out as the most important theologian of the so-called Byzantine period. Yet his theology, assimilated and incorporated by tradition, 
has relevance beyond any single historical period. In fact, the Confessor's efforts to mediate between East and West distinguish his work as vital for contemporary theological discourse. It has been said that St. Maximus the Confessor was the most universal spirit of the 7th century, and perhaps the last independent thinker of the Byzantine Church. St. Maximus's mediatorial role as one of the few genuinely ecumenical theologians of the patristic era is widely acknowledged. In the last decades of the 20th century, patristic studies as a whole, and the study of various aspects of the theology of Maximus the Confessor in particular, have flourished. He has also become a central point of reference in Orthodox Catholic dialogue. A major theologian of the Byzantine Church, St. Maximus is venerated in both Eastern and Western Christian traditions as a theologian of incarnation and resurrection in his deepest intuitions. The featured speakers in alphabetical order include Demetrius Barthrelos, Grigory Benevich, Kalinik Berger, Paul Blowers, David Bradshaw, Adam Cooper, Brian Daly, Petar Yevremovich, Bishop Atanasie Yevtich, Jean Claude Larcher, Joshua Lalar, Andrew Luth, Maximus of Simonopetra, Pascal Muller Jordan, Bishop Ignatie Midic, John Pantelemon Manusakis, Alexei Nesteruk, George Parsenios, Torstein Tolefsen, Athanasios Vletsis, Aristotle Papa Nicolau, Father Philip Gabriel Rences, George Varvatsulias, Bishop Maxim Vasilievich, Christos Yanaras, and Metropolitan John Zizeulas. <laughs>